How much testosterone should you be taking on a beginner's anabolic steroid cycle? Well, my name is A.D. West and welcome to the Apollo Lifestyle YouTube channel. Now, I've written a book on anabolics. I've worked in the supplements industry for over 10 years. I've been advising people on anabolics for around about eight years. And at the same time, I've been making videos like this for about eight years, but also for the past 10 years, I've been experimenting with anabolics myself. I've, you know, I've got really big at certain points. I've trimmed down and because I worked for big supplement brands and I worked with professional bodybuilders and I knew quite a few professional bodybuilders as well, I was able to get hold of pretty much everything. Well, I knew where they were getting the stuff from and then I actually knew those guys personally myself. So anything I wanted, I could get. And because I was advising people and because I was making videos myself, I ended up trying pretty much every single compound. So in today's video, I'm just going to give you what I think and what most people who are educated think is a suitable amount for a beginner to take on their first anabolic steroid cycle. Now, we're not saying a beginner in the gym, someone who's at least got a year's worth of experience, someone that I would recommend at least 25 years of age, preferably 30. I didn't start until I was 30. I'm, I'm almost 40 now, or I will be this year. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, you know, oh, before you start the gym, get on some testosterone. I'm not saying that. But, you know, if you have reached your natural limit and you are looking to do a beginner's anabolic steroid cycle, well, you shouldn't do one. But if you are going to do one, in today's video, I'm going to tell you what I think is suitable for a beginner's first cycle. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Apollo Lifestyle YouTube channel. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications icon so you're notified each and every time I upload a, a video. Now, YouTube doesn't really like this type of content. It is considered adult content. So even if you are subscribed to the channel, YouTube's very unlikely to push this out into your feed. So, you know, if you're watching YouTube on your telly or on your phone, I might never come up in your feed just because YouTube doesn't like this type of content. So if you do like these type of videos and you do want to see more, the only way you're going to see them is by subscribing and hitting the notifications bell. So if you turn the notifications on, even if you don't watch the videos, at least you know, you'll know what videos I've uploaded and then you can pick and choose which ones you want to watch rather than not seeing them at all. You know, I used to get lots of messages, especially on my old YouTube channel saying, uh, would you do a video on this? I'm like, I did one yesterday or I uploaded one last week and I'm like, well, I never see your videos. Well, that's why. So you have to switch on the notifications bell if you are interested in seeing more videos like this. Now, before we get into the video, remember I'm not a doctor, so I'm not advising that you take or not take anything in these videos. These videos are purely for your entertainment purposes only, and what you choose to do with the knowledge that you've attained by watching these videos is completely up to you and has nothing to do with me. So now we've got that out of the way, let's get into it. Now, I'm not going to drag this video out too long, but I'm obviously going to give you some information to justify what I'm saying. But back in the day, people used to advise people to do like 500 plus milligrams of testosterone per week. So, so I'm going to tell you why people used to say that and why people aren't saying it anymore. So why did people used to say that? Well, it's dead simple. Most people get their gear from a dealer and most people ask the dealer, because it's illegal in most countries, most people ask their dealer how much they should take. So if a dealer says you're not going to get any results on 250 milligrams, you should be taking 500, 600, 800 milligrams per week. What happens is you spend more money and they make more money. But if they're being honest with you, you can get as good results on 250 milligrams of testosterone per week. So let me justify that for you because I know there's a lot of people who still think a beginner should be doing 500 milligrams but I bet you they're selling it to you as well or they've just got their information not from actual research but just because that's what everyone else says and why does everyone else say it? Well, that's because that's what the dealer's telling you. Well first of all what is TRT? Well, TRT is testosterone replacement therapy. And what that's supposed to do is get your testosterone up to natural levels. So if your testosterone is low or almost non-existent, so for example, Greg Doucette, 
nutting or letting it out or spewing the old whiteies. And his TRT dose to get him up to normal levels of testosterone is 120 milligrams. So let's say your testosterone levels were normal and you didn't need TRT. If you took 120 milligrams, you'd get amazing results. Yes, you would actually get a decrease in your testosterone levels sort of part way through your cycle and then your results wouldn't be as good and you probably then have to increase it. So that's why they say 250 milligrams, which is more than double that, is gonna get you amazing results. You know, if I could just wave a magic rock wand and double your testosterone, you would get mega gains. And my first anabolic steroid cycle was 250 milligrams of testosterone and I got amazing results. My second anabolic steroid cycle, I took some Turinabol and I did another 250 milligrams of testosterone. Now, just to let you know, I didn't do my first anabolic steroid cycle until I was 30 years old. I think I was 31 actually, so about nine years ago. And I don't actually recommend anyone doing anabolic steroids unless you've got at least a year's worth of experience, preferably more in the gym. You feel like you've re reached your natural potential and my advice would be please be above 30 but if you're younger just please make sure you've reached your natural potential and make sure you've built as much muscle as you can naturally before you start taking anything unnatural and if you are a beginner and you want to get the best results you know you want to make sure you're doing everything correctly and you want to make sure you're avoiding making any unnecessary mistakes that could cause side effects and you want to get the best results in the shortest amount of time, then the best way to do it is to make sure you do your research. I've written a book, it's called The Book of Anabolics, and it does go through absolutely everything you need to know in order to get better results and avoid making any unnecessary mistakes that could cause side effects. You can download it, I'll put it on the screen there. But back to the video, um, 250 milligrams per week really is ample. And like I say, the reason why uh, most people are going to be advising to do 500 or even 600 or 1000 milligrams on an anabolic steroid cycle is not because they've done the research and they've looked at all the studies, it's because they've just got their information from a dealer or they're a dealer themselves. A lot of people, I've said this on TikTok, I've said it on my previous YouTube channel, and I've had a lot of people comment saying, no. I've been doing steroids for ages, I know what I'm talking about. But no one's ever said, oh, actually, have you not seen this study that says you should be doing this amount? No one said that. So the only people that ever argue with this are the people that are selling gear or have been advised by people who are selling gear and haven't actually done the research themselves. But just bear it in mind that 100 to 150 milligrams absolute maximum is a TRT dose. Some people are on a lot less. So if that gets you up to your natural levels, and I'm saying as a beginner, you get amazing results on double TRT, could be triple some people's TRT, then why would you take more? Well, the only reason you take more is because someone's told you the wrong information, either because they don't know what they're talking about, and they've got their information from a dealer who's trying to make more money, or, that person's a dealer and they're selling you the anabolic steroids and they want to make as much money as possible. I've heard people say, I worked for lots of different supplements companies and some shops sold anabolic steroid cycles. And I've been sat there and someone said, oh, you need to take two mil of testosterone per week, which <coughs> that could be like 500, 600 milligrams. And then they've said you need to take Deca and then they've given them orals. And that person spent like, 500 quid on all different supplements and anabolic steroids and things like that and I just remember saying to the guy that's not a beginner's anabolic steroid cycle and he was like it's the only way I make my money you know there's no money in supplements I'm like you can't be lying to people but those people they don't come back also that particular person never told people about PCT so if you don't know what PCT is I've done loads of videos on it but it's also covered in my book post cycle therapy is so if you've been taking loads of testosterone, your natural testosterone is going to be in the gutter. So when you come off your cycle, your natural testosterone is going to be low either forever, I mean it's very rare, but it's going to take a long time to recover. And in that time where you've had super low testosterone, you're going to lose all of your gains. You might even look worse than when you started. So what people do to get their natural testosterone levels back up to 
normal is they actually run something called a PCT, which is usually tamoxifen and clomid or enclomiphene. Sometimes it's got HCG in there as well. Some people add natural testosterone boosters in uh, with their PCT as well, but it's generally tamoxifen and clomid or clomiphene. And what that does is it just gets your natural levels back up to normal as quick as possible. So you're gonna lose less gains. I mean, you still probably will lose your gains over time. You can't really just do one cycle, get big and stay that way. You know, these really big bodybuilders, what they tend to do is blast and cruise. So their cycle is what they call a blast, but then they don't come off. They probably come off everything else, but they stay on a certain amount of testosterone all year round. I'm not getting this information from some bloke in the gym or some guy down at the pub. I've got these from studies. You know, I've had to study things because I wrote a book. But also I was advising people, a lot of people would question me and they say, well, why are you saying that and someone else saying it? And I wouldn't just say, well, you should listen to me because I know what I'm talking about. And that's what a lot of guys say. Um, I've, shown them the studies and say well that's what it says in here and this guy is an expert so if that's what he says then that's what I'm saying but like I say it's totally up to you that's just my opinion let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time for another video